So this is kind of like the mind expansion uh, session, right? Something that helps give you some different ideas and helps you know familiarize you know what what is possible across the suite when you when you can use some deluge. Is that we we obviously want to give you all the deluge that we can so that you can create all the custom functions that you can and do all the custom things that you need. But we also want to then abstract that into uh, basically moving that out of the way so you don't have to deal with that at all, right? It's super nice when you can build your own custom function to do something on your own with, you know, 10 lines of code. It's even better when you can click in the UI like three times and it works, right? Instead of writing any code at all. So, you know, with some of the stuff that like uh, Flow can do, it's really taking over how you can connect different Zoho apps, how you can connect Zoho apps to third party. And that's all really being done, you know, using Deluge as Hari was kind of talking about. Um, so, you know, Deluge itself is letting you get closer to the metal, so to speak, and, and actually go in and do all that, all right? Basically, Deluge allows you to add custom functions to Zoho apps, right? So functions are essentially just new things that you can do. It's like teaching the computer a new trick, right? And with Deluge, you're able to type that in and, and teach it that command, um, you know, depending on what Deluge itself can uh, allow you to do. So, with that, it kind of boils down to a few key things, like being able to update records, perform different actions, like for an example, you know, maybe moving a mail to a folder automatically depending on like some criteria, um, performing calculations, like adding a late fee onto an invoice or something, or pushing and pulling data from Zoho apps or third-party apps as well, all right? So basically this session, we're just gonna look at a few examples and a few different use cases for how that kind of stuff can be done. Um, there will be some code that we'll throw up just to like kind of look at it. And again, I mean, I didn't write it, but I have a general understanding of how it's working. So Desk, Zoho Desk is our help desk ticketing system, right? You, uh, when you need support, someone or when a customer needs support, they can fill out a ticket. It gets put into the help desk. The help desk can then assign the a uh, ticket to an agent, uh, and that way you can track resolution times and make sure people are getting the help they need and you can prioritize things. You can do a, a whole bunch of different stuff. So where does Deluge fit in, right? There's, there's a number of different things, and, and this applies to some other apps as well, but say you have two different modules in Desk, like one that's keeping track of all of your contact related information, and another module for tickets, which again is keeping track of the tickets. Say you've added some custom fields to these modules because you're tracking a specific kind of information and someone goes into like the ticket module and updates that field, right? You've added a custom field so there's no default way that those two fields are going to know that they always need to be in sync with each other, right? The one module and the other module are not talking to each other through that field. So what you can do, and this, this is like the, like the least sexy example ever, but you can go in and write some deluge code to say, when this field in the ticket module gets updated, go and update with the same value, the same information, that other field in the contact module, which should match it, right? Simple enough, right? There's another uh, really kind of interesting feature in Desk that which allows you um, to split up the different tickets out of a kind of a traditional view of like, generally in, in help desk software, tickets are arranged in chronological order kind of by when they've come in and you can kind of sort them in some different ways. Desk, um, when integrated with Zoho CRM, allows you to have what we call the handshake mode where you can actually separate tickets out into different columns depending on the relationship that the contact who submitted the ticket has with your business. So if they're a, high, if they're a customer, they'll be in one, one uh, column. If they are um, a prospect and you're trying to work a deal with them, they'll go into another column. If they're a lead or a contact, they'll go into another column. And if they're not in the system at all, they'll be in another column. So that way you can prioritize who you need to talk to, right? I mean, we always have this kind of idea that the customer is always right, but when you're dealing with a lot of customer support requests, you do have to prioritize who's more important, right? And sometimes there really are people who are more important. So we, we create this natural way of segmenting out different tickets. But again, you want to go a little deeper and Deluge is going to be really helpful. So for example, say you have um, prospects that you're talking to and right when they hit the negotiation stage or something or, or they've become, they've moved a sufficient 
you know, sufficiently deep into the sales process that you really want to make sure you can give them the best support experience you can to really get their business. And if they end up having a, a question they need to ask you, you can write some deluge that will allow you to set their priority as like the highest. So that way you'd be able to focus on that and your agents could make sure that they're getting to those tickets first so you could boost your revenue, right? So that's, that's one of those ways that you could use deluge again to kind of go and take an integration that we already have just a little bit further. Does that make sense? Okay, cool. I know it's kind of hard when you're, we're talking about software that you might not be as familiar with already, like something like desk. Um, but that's kind of the point of this session. It's to kind of talk about these other apps and to talk about how Deluge moves into these other places. Um, another really cool thing is sentiment analysis. So of course, when you get a ticket that comes in and there's some kind of question or request that's in there, people can, can have all sorts of different feelings. They can be really polite, they can be really upset, they can be pretty, they can be abusive, they can, you know, all sorts of different things they can be, right? Um, you can actually use like a sentiment analysis API and bring that in and also categorize or split up those tickets that way. So it could actually say, you know, by looking at the content of the message that you're receiving or the question, hey, this person seems pretty angry maybe we should prioritize them. Or maybe this person's super angry, we should hand them off to our, you know, our support agent that has like, you know, an unlimited amount of patience and is really good at handling those kinds of people, right? There's all sorts of different little things you can do by being able to go in and kind of parse out that, that actual content, right? So that is desk essentially. And if we, we look at other front office apps, I mean, it's everywhere. I mean, we have Delusion CRM, we have it in um, Survey is something that we're working on. And there's a pretty cool kind of example for this is that say you are, you know, you have an event and you're, you're generating leads through this event and you send out a survey that says, you know, how, how did this event go for you? Did you enjoy our service? Did you enjoy talking to our people? Did you enjoy the facilities or whatever? Uh, and you have questions that you're sending out that say, you know, hate it, it was okay, it was pretty good, it was great. What you can do is you can actually turn those, um, what, we, what we'd say are maybe more of like a qualitative response into an actual quantitative score where we can say, um, you know, if they pick awesome or they are like pick the, the most happy they could be, we can turn that into say like that, that means they get a score of four or five. And then what we can do is we could actually add up all of the different scores that they've given us on our survey and use that as a way to decide who we should prioritize when we follow up with them at, when they're a lead now in the CRM. It's kind of a crazily like, long-winded example. Um, and the thing that's, again, really nice about Deluge is that it's from, you know, from what I've seen and the little bit of Deluge coding that I've done is that it doesn't take that many lines of code to really do some of these pretty cool and nifty things. So if you are familiar with Deluge, maybe you can read this. If you're not as familiar, I'll kind of explain what's happening here is that you're seeing essentially an API response that we're getting from Zoho survey. And this is basically a, there's then a map that's following this where we're able to uh, basically parse out the different uh, information from the survey response, store that in a collection variable, and then calculate a total from all of these different questions. And then when moving the survey data into CRM, pass that survey score over there as well. So once we have that score now in a field or something, um, we could you know, use that to create a view or something like that that says people that had a score of X many, you know, put them in this view or, you know, arrange these scores in a, um, you know, numerical like order to say who had the best score first or whatever. There's all sorts of different things we can do um, to, to prioritize the responses here instead of just having some kind of, you know, simple thing of, oh, they seem to have liked us or, or we have to go in and read every, sen every single survey before we actually respond. So that's like an example from survey that I think is actually kind of nifty. Um, deluge within mail, obviously Zoho has more applications than just the, the front office applications we go beyond marketing sales and support, but we can even do stuff with deluge in, um, in email, right? And that kind of sounds a little crazy, but it's, it's actually can be pretty useful. So the, the example that I'll go into and again, show you some code for is actually uh, tagging an email that comes in as urgent and moving it over to a particular 
uh, folder like right away so that way you're always you know making sure that emails that are being labeled priority are just going to a specific folder that you can always go to and, and handle those first just personal little productivity things but you can also uh, do this email parsing that, so say for example um, you're like in real estate and uh, you get lead emails from something like Zillow. Uh, but basically, you know, you get those Zillow emails and they're, and they're, they're always going to be kind of structured the same way. So what you can do is you can actually go through and parse out that content and say, okay, this is the lead's name, this is the property, and you can then take all that out of the email and push that into like Zoho CRM so you could follow up with them, right? So that's the kind of stuff you can do, um, Deluge, do with Deluge right now. But again, there's an email parser that's actually going to be built into flow itself, which is really nice. You can even go in and flag mails based on keywords, right? So again, like it's not quite parsing at the level of, of receiving the same kind of thing all the time, but actually going in and say, if they're saying these words, then notify me or tell me that, you know, this is an important email or what, right? Or move it to a particular folder. A lot of cool things you can do there. Um, so let's go ahead and look at this kind of coded example. This is a much kind of, you know, longer and crazier looking thing. Um, but basically, you know, you're using a, a built-in function to go in and get all the different emails, essentially. All of them are going to have their own uh, message ID. And you're then going to sort out and get the mails and then or go in and, and look at all these different mails and go and grab the priority emails. And once you have them, you're adding a tag, a priority tag or a high priority label. Um, or, sorry, you're adding a tag to move them to a high priority label. And then at the bottom here, there's this kind of separate little if condition, which is if basically the user hasn't created a high priority label, it'll automatically do that for them. And that way the emails won't just go into like no man's land or something, right? So this is like code you could just drop in and use and it would really should work, right? Um, so again, another nice little way that, that Deluge can, can do stuff for us. Um, and then books moving into the back office, um, another, you know, bunch of really cool use cases, like for example, if, if a quote is created from books, we can then automatically create a deal in CRM. Um, if we have an estimate that we've sent to someone and say a week has passed, we can mark that estimate as declined because had it been accepted, then it would have been accepted and then we can, you know, send out another estimate or we can make sure we get back in contact with that person, et cetera. Um, if uh, we send an estimate and it gets approved, we could then create a subscription for them. If we have a subscription model business, that's something that you can't quite do right now, which would, you know, bring in Zoho subs subscriptions to do that. Um, and then, of course, there's like late fee calculations that you can automatically apply depending on some criteria as well. All right. So this late fee calculation, again, we're, we have a little bit of this cut off, but basically, this first line here, we're defining the condition for a past due invoice. So if the current date is greater than the invoice date, then we, or then the due date, then we know that this is going to be late, right? If it's due on the 30th and today is the 31st, basically um, that would mean that we're greater than that date. So this will qualify now as, as a, um, you know, a late invoice. And so then we're going to add the 3% late fee, which is, you know, here in this little, little decimal. And then after we uh, do this using the adjustment field, there's this default adjustment field in books. Um, we're going to basically be able to push that fee to the adjustment field, give the reason of why that fee was applied, which is that it's a late fee, and then do the API call to update the right invoice with the right org details and all that. And then we have a little success message just to make sure everything worked properly. So. Obviously, that's, that's just one piece of this. Um, we could even get a little more fancy and we could then say, okay, now, now that we actually have this new invoice that we've created that has this late fee that's applied, now, since we have a new invoice, we're charging them something next, like a new total now, we could actually now just say, okay, Deluge, go ahead and now send a new email to this person with this new invoice, with the late fee past due invoice, right? That would be something that we could do add an add on to this code to kind of complete that whole automation. All right. So that is essentially, I mean, just some of the different examples that I wanted to go over. Um, Deluge is currently supported in 15 different Zoho apps and we have seven more on the way. And of course they span across our suite. So there's 
Delusion sales and marketing apps, CRM, sales IQ, survey campaigns, sites, finance has it, mail, projects, click, bug tracker, connect, rider sheet, all of that. And as well in our uh, help desks, human resources app, and then obviously Flow and Creator have Deluge as well. Um, one of the things that I wanted to also mention, um, like Sales IQ currently has kind of like a web hook that it can, can use, but one of the things that Jerry and the Sales IQ team are working on, um, they're, they're working on these chat bots and stuff, basically, that will go in through Sales IQ. Who is familiar with Sales IQ? Few people. Okay. So sorry for just kind of running over you with all this Zoho product stuff. But um, Sales IQ is a um, website visitor engagement platform. So it's kind of, like basically when someone comes to the website, there's like a chat there that you can chat with them through. But it also does some uh, visitor tracking as well and has a good connection with CRM. So that way, when someone comes and wants to talk to you through the chat widget, they put in their name, they put in their email address, that automatically can create a lead in CRM just with the out of the box integration. Um, but what we've been looking to do is add chat bots that can, you know, add more functionality to that chat widget. So one of the things that we're going to be doing is having it so that if uh, someone comes to your website and tries to talk to one of your agents, but they're not available for whatever reason, the chat bot through the power of Deluge can help that person schedule an appointment with that agent to follow up with later. So that person will be able to, you know, have their own schedule to say, okay, I need to follow up with this person on this phone uh, call, you know, tomorrow at two o'clock or whatever, right? So that's something that we're we're adding, and you'll be able to do a whole bunch of different custom things with that. So there's a lot of really cool things coming, um, particularly with Sales IQ and these these chatbots that Deluge is really going to allow us to to do.